Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Alex here, this is AMRC. And today I thought I'd share a simple 3D printed uh, steerable uh, nose wheel. It's not my design. I found it on uh, Thingiverse and got inspiration from there. I'll uh, post a link of uh, the original file. And then uh, following that, I just designed my own. And it's really simple. Uh, two pieces It's this piece that holds uh, the servo and This one that rotates and holds uh, the wheel basically Show you on this side. It has a cutout for uh, the servo arm well, Basically why I did this is uh, I'm uh, 3d printing a plane I'm gonna see what it is Maybe you can tell just by this piece. If not, no problem. When I'm uh, done with it, I'll uh, post a longer video. And uh, it doesn't come with any landing gear. It's uh, not exactly small, so I am uh, i didn't want to hand launch. I want to have uh, the option of uh, taking off from pavement and landing. And uh, first I thought of a fixed landing gear, but that doesn't really help uh, because if it goes sideways, you either crash or have to abort. So it's uh, good to have a bit of steering. So basically how this works, you uh, put the servo in here. Now this is a really small servo. That's why I uh, had to uh, design this myself and I'm no... Uh, modeler or designer in CAD 3D. I did all of uh, this in uh, Tinkercad, which is basically like uh, paint for 3D files. Then uh, you have uh, this groove here where you can uh, stick in the wire for the landing gear so it doesn't move. Then you attach this here, and the really neat part is the servo arm. You put the screw in here, and it keeps it all uh, together once it's uh, locked into uh, the servo. Then when the servo moves, the steering will also move. Of course, after I bend the wire, I'll... Uh, also put the wheel here. I'm not bending it now because then I won't be able to remove the wire. I haven't decided on uh, the length yet. And and to put it in the fuselage, as you can see even without the skirts, uh, pretty hard to take out. So I made uh, this cutout in uh, the original design. This slides in here. Then the servo goes in through here, hopefully. Okay, that's it. as much as it needs. And this here, and that's about it. Really nice and simple. I hope uh, it will be effective. So this way you can uh, modify existing uh, 3D designs or even make parts for your balsa foam planes or any other material they're made of. And Tinkercad is not that hard to use. If uh, there's any interest and you like to uh, you would like me to make a video showing how uh, you can use it to uh, design simple parts or modify uh, existing designs. For instance, uh, making this cutout, if you have uh, an existing piece that you want to make room for, it's uh, really easy in Tinkercad. So, that was it. Hope I'll have uh, 
longer video soon with the reveal and maiden flight of this plane. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave any questions or comments. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.